I'm going to get my nails done. Look at my nails. It's long overdue. Morning, morning. Um, morning. <sighs> so yesterday when I was making the lure video, I used that's the small rig um, video light that I bought. I think my one is a faulty one. Um, the light doesn't stay the level as I said. Actual light is gets like bright, dim, bright. It's just back and forth it's not like a flickering it's just like i'm gonna take this into the place where i bought it um i think it is a faulty one because it shouldn't be I, I tried to film it to show you but you can't really see it in the camera anywho so that's another thing i has to do today i got a couple of emails to do and it's kind of you know i really wanted to share my how i'm starting my the skincare business i think because i'm an early stage of the business so most of the conversation or most of things that i'm doing is very private and a lot of them are related to confidentiality not from my side but the manufacturing side so i can't really talk about things or can show you anything yeah so it's kind of knowing that there is nothing i can really share the story how i'm doing it yeah anyhow but you know what yesterday i made a video about my lure making because yeah people have been asking about it and literally that video was about saying i'm not making lures anymore until i get a garage or somewhere i can make it and instant i lost about like seven subscribers <laughs> YouTube is fun place for me, so subscribers or numbers doesn't really, you know, I don't really looking into it because also I'm not like a one million YouTuber who makes money with the YouTube, you know, nothing like that. So it's just like a little fun thing to do for me, this making video, and I just love, love, love using my camera. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the main person in this show so I'm having just enjoying all of that I got up and checking my YouTube and I saw like number just drops I'm just like ah <laughs> I guess it's a numbers there even though I'm not trying to care about it it's numbers there I can see it so my brain kind of register it I guess they will all come back once when I start making lures again oh my god it's cold now returning and hope they can replace to a new one Yo, I just back from the um, photo store that I bought my light because I thought it was a faulty machine. But you know what? <laughs> he said I was on a TV mode. <laughs> it was on a TV mode, so it has that TV flickering effect. So just back home and now I know there's a lot of different settings here <sighs> and now it's on a normal setting that doesn't do that weird dimming yeah <laughs> oops little business update so the manufacturer and I agreed on things and they sent me the new agreement to sign on it and 
Of course, when you do the business, never sign anything until your lawyer check on it first. I've been doing this back and forth with the manufacturer about a month now and so I remind myself that I am the client for the first time. First time ever understand why you need a lawyer. You just, I think everybody should have a lawyer in general in daily life. Have a lawyer if you do a business, have a lawyer, protect yourself and also a lawyer will tell you something that you don't see. So business advice, have a lawyer. <laughs> that means you have to go work harder to pay the bills. Hi Mayo, what you doing? <laughs> If you spot toilet paper on my desk, I just want to let you know that I'm Korean. <laughs> what that means is Korean people use toilet paper like tissue. I don't know why, but yeah, I grew up like that and just not me. It's just everyone. So don't judge me using this as my tissue on my desk. I have been moving it around so it's not in my video but you know I got no time for that and I want to be real so you probably see this on my desk <laughs> you know what just happened the manufacturer agreed to everything and I secured the manufacturer now yay so I can start making products finally after like six months <sighs> it is exciting and scary because now I have to spend my money all my savings going into this project <sighs> I know the first project always gonna be a fail so i'm not expecting anything crazy but just spending money and fail sounds scary so i will do my best at least i can make it zero not 100 percent fail you know what i mean i don't know how to do the marketing or you know i don't know how to do the sales it's exciting and scary ah 